Hey, it's We Are Anime. Today, we've got a quick recap of Solo Leveling Episode 6 highlights. Stay tuned and don't forget to catch the full video for a closer look at the differences between this anime episode and the manhwa. Stranded with a giant spider, the newly powered up Sung Jinwoo and his pay to win rich kid pal Yu Jinho face a survival challenge in Solo Leveling Episode 6, titled The Real Hunt Begins. Jim was gotten beefed up, but the big question is, can he tackle a C-rank boss solo? It always seemed too good to be true that Jin Wu and Jin Ho to get good pay by simply being a mule in a hunter's party. But hold on, the job takes a dark turn when they're left high and dry, also Dong Suk and his crew can cash in. Solo leveling episode 6 reveals the harsh truth that not everyone plays fair, especially these party members who clearly missed the memo on honesty. Talk about a stand-up situation turned into a sit-down betrayal. Before his newfound leveling abilities has been activated, just thinking about facing a C-rank boss would have sent Jinwoo running. But not anymore. Thanks to his newfound strength, he's got the confidence to stand his ground. Now he's got a better handle on his powers, understanding his strengths and weaknesses. Still, tackling the monstrous spider won't be a walk in the park, even for someone as buffed up as Jinwoo. Solo leveling episode 6 doesn't just tell viewers all of this, it shows it through excellent animation. Sure, A1 Pictures and Production IG are heavy hitters when it comes to action, but they can shine in the quieter moments too. The glint in Jinwoo's eyes before taking on the spider is a great example. His confidence is visible, making his victory seem inevitable instead of a long shot. Jinwoo's newfound strength and confidence are so remarkable that they leave Jinho in a mix of awe and fear, practically bringing him to his knees. False rankers are known for being ruthless, and Jinho can't help but wonder if Jinwoo falls into that category. It's clear that Jinwoo's enhanced strength is evident to everyone, but understanding the extent of it seems to be a real challenge for others. This aspect was evident in the reactions of the nurses in the previous episode, highlighting that each person's response to Jinwoo's newfound power is unique and varied. The stark contrast in how people perceive and react to his strength adds an intriguing layer to Jinwoo's evolving character. But what are these false rankers in solo leveling world? This is someone who's able to suppress their mana output so they get a lower rank than they otherwise would have. Basically, it's IRL smoothing. But what's the benefit of doing that? They could make a lot more money as a higher ranked hunter. In simple terms, there's no valid reason for this behavior. Higher ranked hunters can choose easier dungeons without pretending to be a lower rank. The only plausible explanation, as Jinho contemplates, is that they find pleasure in killing. Who might they enjoy killing? Well, it implies humans. People wouldn't be cautious about an E-rank hunter joining their party, thinking they might be the one to harm them. However, this isn't a common occurrence, false rankers are uncommon. The main highlight of Solo Leveling Episode 6 is the intense battle between Jinwoo and the giant spider boss. Jinwoo invests time in deciphering the spider's defensive strategy, while the spider is determined to wipe him out. Jinwoo's abilities have their boundaries, but his knack for adapting plays a crucial role in his survival. A mix of clever thinking, speedy reflexes, and a dash of luck keeps Jinwoo in one piece. This adaptive skill will undoubtedly be an asset as his journey becomes even more challenging in the future. In Solo Leveling Episode 6, it's not just Jinho grappling with understanding Jinwoo's abilities. The party that ditched them earlier comes back and is utterly amazed to find them still breathing. While Jinho admires Jinwoo, the party credits Jinho and his fancy armor for the survival. Rankings hold immense importance in the solo leveling world, making it hard for anyone to believe that someone as seemingly weak as Jinwoo could take down any boss, especially a C-rank one. I'm still uncertain whether Jinwoo underwent a second awakening. He seems to be leaning toward that possibility, but I have some reservations. It could be due to incomplete explanations in the anime and maybe the manhwa provides clearer details. Let's delve into the urgent quest Jinwoo received at the episode's end. The quest instructed him to eliminate all six individuals attempting to kill him. Does this align with the concept of a second awakening? It might. If his second awakening ability gamifies everything, then it adds up. Those trying to harm him become adversaries he needs to overcome. However, there's another perspective. Jinwoo might be able to perceive the true nature of the dungeons. Let's consider the idea that dungeons, mana, and hunter skills are all part of a game. In this context, the urgent quest still makes sense, within this game, other characters are attempting to eliminate the player. Consequently, I can't view this urgent quest as definitive evidence for either scenario being the truth. 
There's another intriguing aspect of this quest that requires discussion. Did you notice the change in the penalty mentioned for failing the quest? Initially, the notification stated that Jin Wu would receive an appropriate penalty, but after hesitating, it updated to indicate that his heart would stop as a penalty. Jin Wu interprets this change similarly to my understanding. It seems like the system is urging him to complete the quest. This perspective makes it appear less like a second awakening to me. It strongly suggests that there's someone or something orchestrating events, and whoever it is, they want Jin Wu to survive and grow stronger. The relationship between Yo Jinho and Jin Wu reaches a turning point in the middle of solo leveling episode 6. The party throws a curveball, asking Jin Ho to take out Jin Wu, but Jin Ho has witnessed something special in Jin Wu. After all, Jin Wu did save his life. This situation provides great character development for Jin Ho, giving him the chance to display the same courage Jin Wu showed. Despite facing tough odds, if his newfound friend won't back down, neither will he. Solo leveling episode 6 also delves into the broader world. The various guilds still hold many mysteries. Though snippets between battles provide additional information, much remains undiscovered. Go Gun Hee, the chairman of the Korean Hunters Association, makes a comeback. Jin Chul Woo and Cha Hae also reappear. These shifts in focus might feel abrupt, but the insights they offer are vital for understanding the larger world. However, some improved timing in the narrative flow would have been appreciated. Here are the anime's differences from Manwa. First, episode shows Wu Jin Chul sparring with Go Gun Hee to give the latter a good time after being stressed from seeing politicians. Hunter's Guild's Sun Ki Hun, Jina, and Lee Bora appears early, and the latter girls are shown to be friends with Park Hee Jin. Cha Hae-in is shown to defeat a rank enemy easily which the other A-rank Hunter members were having trouble with. Wang Dong Suk's team doesn't blow up the cave-in to enter the boss room and instead uses another hole to enter the boss room. Rain starts pouring where Jin Wu and Jin Ho is standing and Jin Wu is glad he gave Jina the umbrella in the morning. In solo leveling, the most vulnerable people are often targeted as Jin Wu comes to understand. Throughout his career, he's been on the receiving end of that. However, armed with newfound strength, he now has the power to decide who is considered weak or not. Jin Wu can now stand against those who exploit the less strong. His strong sense of morality compels him to confront individuals like the party that betrayed him and it turns out well in solo leveling episode 6. Yet, his unwavering commitment to doing what's right might pose risks for him in the future. What's your take on solo leveling episode 6? Were you anticipating Jinho's assistance in Jinwoo's boss battle? Do you find it odd that a party consistently loses new members in dungeons without raising suspicion? And where do you stand? Is Jinwoo experiencing a second awakening or something different? Comment down your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more solo leveling updates. Until next time.